Breaking rocks in a hot sun I fought the law and the law won I needed money but I had none I fought the law and the law won I fought the law and the... Oh there you are Furtless once again joining me for another episode of Magnitudes Ramblings and spirit box sessions that are not annotated in any way or form but are uploaded daily for you to pick and make your way sense out of it. To the skeptics out there, it's just noise, it's nothing, and um, coincidence when certain words are said at the right time, including the swear words. But for those that are in the know, Let's hop to it, shall we? It's not really a special episode today, but I've got something for you. So, what have we got today? Let's talk about a box that I don't use very often, but is a bit on the underdog pile. And why? Probably because it's speaker, internal speaker. is so fucking awful. No, I'm not talking about the SB7. Of oh, well done, Jackie Morris. She now has a Mark I SB7. And what I'm about to say may uh, make her... Be a bit more thrilled. Let's go Whew. over here. The box I'm talking about is the Sangian, the Sangian 200 VX with time on it and uh, memo and band and FM stereo AM and TV. It plays TV. Where's the TV screen? TV. It says TV. It lies though. It lies. Actually, it has. 12 frequencies, 13 frequencies actually, unlucky 13, uh, where it picks, tries to pick up analog TV, but obviously analog TV is gone, I have no idea when this box was released, but it's been a favourite of people like mm, Steve <coughs> Huff before um, he got all money hungry and all that, and, um, and, and he tried to first falsify a plate falling down, and it was this box that first showed Spirit kicking up against Mr. Huff. Yes, it was. This box unraveled Mr. Huff. And that was brought to the attention to you by the High Priestess. Yes, it was. Because on the video where Spirit throws a plate, Steve Huff annotates question mark, question mark, question mark, when quite clearly, clear as day, Spirit says, why do you lie? Yeah, why do you lie? It's a good question, Steve Huff. Why do you lie? Anyway, we're not here to talk about him today. I'm sure we'll talk about him many other, other episodes to come. He's a highlight of uh, the, the things to talk about. Uh, so, he serves one purpose. I wouldn't be here without him. Thank you, Stephen. Truth seekers wouldn't exist without him. Thank you, Stephen. So, you know... Everything has a reason to be, even if you are a fraudulating motherfucker that has no medium skills whatsoever and you fraud your shit and all the rest of it, you serve a purpose. Thank you, Stephen. So, let's get him out of the way, because... Yeah. And let's talk about something that's more appealing. The Sangium box. Don't use it very often. It was sent to me by... Oh, come on, you can guess who sent me this. Come on, the guy's a fucking sponsor, I swear to God. I mean, it started off with Rich. Not you, Mr. Lowly, another Rich, the Prophecy Fiend, who um, started off my channel and kickstarted it with the very camera that I'm using right now, uh, with such as things as this this lovely K2 meter that, that had a lovely message on the back, which still rings true today. Seeking the truth, no lies or shit, keeping it real for a paranormal field. Cheers, Richard! Uh, and he gave me a laser pen and some other things, and then, then everyone just jumped on the bandwagon and was just stupidly kind, including a, a mysterious box, so I still don't know where it came from. People still ask me to this day, do you know where it came from? No, I don't. If you have a clue where it came from, let me know. Where's my liar? But this box comes from a guy who's, who got me the Holy Grail and uh, got me the 469 as well. The Freaky 4 that was going to be a community ghost box, but in the end, 
due to its uh, serious demand for it and the fact it's probably a box more for the advanced I've decided to take it off the market for the community ghost box and well uh, under Louis Fisk's freaking advice which is the guy who got me the Sangian keep it don't send it out I want you to keep it so fucking keep it so yeah I mean I'm not gonna you know fucking tell the guy no I'm happy to keep it by all accounts and it's sad for it to come to that but hey everything has a place and a reason you know even fuck ass trolls that know nothing, they have a place and a reason somewhere down the line. Honestly, they do. So, why this box? What am I talking about today? Let me show you something. Well, first of all, I caught some really good captures on this. Um, if you want to go back through my catalogue of videos, Magnitude, Mrs. Magnitude reads a story or something. Uh, that one, I've deleted a lot of the Mrs. Magnitude reads a story videos because of the naysayers, the dolts, whinging about, oh, spirit session, why your daughter's there? Oh my god. Yeah, my daughter, um, his first word was uh, <laughs> hanging around with a spirit called Harry, but you know, that's okay. You pray to your God, Jesus, and everything else, and that's okay, but I'm not allowed to have my religion right. But the point is, um, hmm, this box captured a very strange moment in time that, um, that, well, like all these things, it, 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 it creates more questions than it answered. The capture was this, so if you want to go back to that video and see it, it's right at the end of the video. Mrs. Magnitude reads a bedtime story to Chimera and the Spirits or something it's called, Mrs. Magnitude. Try and find it if you want, but at the end of the video... We clearly hear a very haunting woman scream and say, help me. And I'm like, oh my God, that, you know, that's, that's one of the most disturbing help me's I've ever heard. And uh, there's no speaker or anything. It was on its own. And I said, well, well how can I help you? You know, I, I want to help you. You know, do, do I pray for you? The minute I said, do I pray for you? Oh my God, we get a demonic laugh. <laughs> a real evil son of a bitch laugh. Which leads me to two things. Like I said, it creates more questions than answers. The first one is, um, was that a spirit in desperate need of help, but an evil spirit is keeping that person at bay and laughing about this? Or was I being goaded completely from the start? I, <laughs> it's funny as fuck, because I can imitate voices and goad, because... Chloe has imitated voices before several times in private to visitors here. Um, yeah, weird as fuck. Anyway, why I want to talk about this box is it's a bit of a noisy, awful box, in all fairness. You can change it, which is kind of cool. I didn't know this till Glenn showed me. It's got lots of functions on it. The first one is you can have headphones, stereo, or mono, or the, the dreaded speaker. Ah, God, and it's prone to interference. But what's cool about this box, unlike a lot of boxes that are bought from America, you can set it to England. I can't remember, I have to ask Glenn how to do it, but you hold down the down button for a period of time, then you press the on button. Something like that, and it will say step 10 or step 9. We're in the UK, we run at step 9, okay? If you want to find out, if you have one of these boxes and you're in the UK, you need it to change it to step 9 to get the most out of it. Bump, that's the first thing. So it's got many functions and it caters for the UK. The internal speaker is god awful, but I'll tell you what is good. The headphone features, I take this box quite a lot and stick it in my ear while walking up the shop and it, it's clear as day walking up the shop. I don't get a lot walking to the shop because I don't call out, but it's very clear. Now, I, that got me thinking, if it's clear on the headphones, what else is it clear? Because I've tried it on my guitar amp, and as we know, guitar amps are fucking shit for spirit boxes, and they really are. They work well with the SB7, or at least that one does, but they're bollocks. This is why Huff's lunchbox amp isn't a good thing, and the reason why this is is because there's mid-range, but there's no treble, and there's no bass, really. They're built for fucking guitars, so you're not going to have that high-end or low-end frequency for the speaker to accompany, okay? So they're not very good, you know? A guitar amp is not the way with a spirit box, alright? So that's the first thing, you're at a disadvantage straight away if you use a guitar amp for a spirit box. So I tried the classic JBL. This works in a, a few ghost boxes quite well. On this one, and on the Holy Grail, it's fucking muddy and awful, and nah, yeah, that doesn't work, trust me, doesn't work. And not just because I'm an audiophile, 
doesn't fucking work. This thing I tried, which is good for the 469, nah, not so good. But there is one speaker out there that seems to be good on all ghost boxes, and it's probably because it's the right size, and it's probably because it's, I've learned a lot from um, Greg Manchester, the box maker. This thing, it has an aluminium speaker inside. I think it's aluminium, don't quote me on that exactly. But it's quite small, and they call it the hamburger speaker. That's not the official name of it, because you can open it up. Yeah, Let's get an extra bit of volume. It looks like a hamburger, apparently. Yeah, see what I'm saying? And Jackie Morris has an SB7 with one of these. There's many versions of these speakers. I mean, mine's got a little bar across it, hers is not. This speaker is fucking perfect. Because before I did this video, I thought, let's try it with this. And I wish I sort of captured it, but I was just trying things for a second. I stuck it in here, like so. I stuck it, turned it on, it was on the end, ready to go. And the first thing it said to me, I'm dead. Clear as fucking death. Well, right, I'm doing a video on this. So, let's stick it on speaker output and let's do a quick spirit box session for 10 minutes to see how we get on. Mu that is the best speaker for spirit boxes, bar none. And we've got interference here as well. Ooh, lots of it. Hello? Is there anybody here who wants to talk? It's funny, I said that I tried to speak about, I kid you not, five minutes ago and said I'm dead clear as day, but there was no interference. Where's this interference come from? Grab the key too, you got up and hang on. Just in case, just in case. No, alright, not that. Hello, is anybody here? That sounds fucking awful now, not typical. And that's not because of a speaker. Because the weird interference is starting to come through. Settle down. Fucking. I heard fucking. I could be wrong. Who's here and wants to talk? Does anybody want to talk? Come on, don't be shy, don't be nasty, show us your pasty and all that. Turn this down, turn the other thing up, hang on. Hang on. Now that speaker allows an audio in, so if we take a wire like this... Honest to God, I wish I fucking caught it, I kid you not. I turned the thing on just for two seconds, because I went out of a shop with it, and it came out with I'm dead, straight away, clear as day. Do I have my camera rolling? Do I fuck? I was only testing something for all of two seconds. That'll teach me, won't it? What am I going to learn? Hey, I'll look. A much longer wire, so hopefully... Ah. Hello? Is anybody here? Hello? And I'm holding it up in the air. We're getting somewhere. Alright. 
It's playing up. This box is very prone to interference, so no go. Um, you may, no new furtlesses, I'm sure you'll sit there with your headphones on and you'll catch something out of it. So let's try something a little bit different. Next one I don't use very often is the COS. Now anyone who has a COS box, I've been told by, I think it was Jane. She says, with your COS box, don't stick a speaker on it. Stick the microphone stupid speaker on it. Now... I'm skeptical of using this microphone speaker for one reason. With boxes like this and the Sangian, the wire acts as an antenna. That means, because Rich Prophecy Team was finding this, with a speaker like this, there's no there's no one there's no wire there. So we don't have a lot of Oh fuck it, let's just try it. Jesus Christ man, but you know what I'm saying? There's no antenna to fuck about with. Off you go. Oh god. Hello? David. David! Hello! How are you, my friend? Trying out all these boxes to confuse you, I'm sorry. David again. Hello, David. David, is there certain boxes that you like the most that are easiest to use? There was a yes behind that. Whether the camera picks it up, I don't know. Yes, yes. That's DBBS to base, so I'll keep that off for you. But look, James Wright, there's none of that interference on it. She ain't lying, is she? Well done, Dave, James. Devil. devil? Oh, we have the devil again, do we? Talk to me, devil. Or spirit that proclaims the devil. Tell me uh, what you want to talk about. Who's the devil? Who is he? Huh? Devil. This box captured, once I was talking about does anyone need help and all the rest of it, Ian come along and it captured I'm getting the help I need now, thank you or something. So, all these boxes are capable of getting good communication if Spirit knows how to use it and all the rest of it. Headline, Hell's Radio. Spirit. Yeah, thank you for that. I said radio and spirit. I'm going to have to go in a minute. Because this is going to be a quick 10 minute video and it's turned out to double the time. I just want to quick, do a quick sort of demo, rather than a spirit session as such. So do you mind if I go? Yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go, not heading north at all, but I'm gonna go. Is that all right? Do you mind? Whatever. Would you? You got an opportunity to say goodbye if you want. If you want to say goodbye, you can. Don't have to. If you want to, the opportunity's there.
We say goodbye. No, not gonna say goodbye. Never do. Sometimes you do, but not very often. Not very often at all. Probably about two out of ten times you say goodbye. for a laugh, why not? Right, I'm gonna go in a minute, but I'm running my FM just for a laugh, see what I mean? It's very quiet, but there's no aerial. There should be lots coming through right now. Now the AM aerials on these boxes are inside. David, um, yeah? The sh FM is very strong over here. Too much so, if anything. But like you can see, look, fuck all is coming through. I know this box is quiet, but it's not going to be this quiet. This is because on FM on these bo on FM on these types of <laughs> on FM on these types of boxes, the the headphone. The wire is used as the antenna. Does that make sense? And obviously, there's no there's no wire here. It's straight in bump. So it's no good. Other than really, other than really strong stations that don't need any aerial. But the AM aerial is inside. It's a coil usually, as I've l learned, used opening up the F SP7 to create magnitude mode. But there you go. I mean, this wasn't really a spirit box session as such, but I wanted to do just a quick education in a few little things you can learn. One, the Sangyan isn't the biggest peak of junk ever. It's it's not too bad. It is very prone to interference, but if I were you and you, you're into your spirit box and get one of these speakers, Mark Smith is right. It's the only one that works with the um, 587. Anything else is just muddy and horrible. Trust me, I've tried on everything. The Bang & Olsen, the fucking guitar amp. The famous JBL that everybody uses. Nah, this one is the one that seems to sound the best and seems to work the best. It really does, and it seems to work on everything just about. And like I said, um, just before doing this video, 10 minutes before, I just plugged it in just to see, eh, I wonder if there's any good on this one as well as the other. Yeah, in it, come out with I'm dead, nice and fucking clear. Of course, there's always cameras about. And here's an interesting one for you, Furtless. Guess did I put out a video? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. But in the evening, just before bed, I did a little private session. And uh, we weren't getting much through. And then we put on magnitude mode. And I said, look, you can talk if you want. You know, we're not doing much. But if you want to talk. And it asked me, are you recording now? No, I'm not recording. And then they started to speak a bit more. So I do think they're still a bit wary about being recorded. I do believe that. Um, so more permissions needed. Or maybe some are easily recorded. Uh, easily happy with being recorded. Maybe some are not happy of being recorded. But it asked, it asked straight, are we being recorded now? That was like one of the first things that comes out of magnitude mode. I said, oh, come on, you know, you can talk. Intriguing stuff, isn't it? You know, um... So yeah, but I try and keep the camera out as much as I can. Like I say, I, I do like to do private sessions when it's just me and my wife, and she asks a few questions. She doesn't like being on camera. Um, she seems to get the most provocative results, ironically. But they are, there, or they were originally there for her in the first place. One day I'll get her to go on camera. She has thought about it numerous times. Yeah, 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 I'll do that, she says. And when it comes down, she's like, nope, not doing it. <laughs> she's very camera shy, and you can't blame her. Anyway, Furtless... Uh, take care and uh, I'll see you next time no doubt all the best now bye bye oh and feel sorry for me it's going to take forever to upload because my ESP provider is fucked up again with my account every fucking couple of months I have this so I have to upload it via the Wi-Fi, which is slow and fucking tedious so when you get this tell you something order of magnitudes a very dedicated man all the best for this ta-ta for now